Hey, I'm the Castle Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21 Stage Racer. This is episode 84, and it's looking like, based on my calendar, this is the penultimate episode, but we're still in the middle of the Tour de France. We have a lot of season left to go. We are going to do a lot of quick sims, including probably the entire La Vuelta. But let's see if we can't finish the Tour de France in this episode. I don't know how we're going to manage that. Maybe we get down to just about the end of it where we have maybe one big stage left to go as the one stage that we race next time as we go to wrap things up. Stage 14, 21. We sit third overall and we are talking about massive time gaps in this race. 12 minutes. 12 minutes from Leknesund who is over an hour. This is a 51 kilometer time trial, including two climbs. Whew, okay, this is gonna be a big one. We are 245 down. You can gain that sort of time, or you can at least gain a big chunk, one, two minutes, and get yourself into the mix. Now, 79 is way too hard, and we're gonna push even harder than that for a moment, and now we're gonna back off. And we're gonna back off a little bit more as we are getting ourselves up to speed. And it looks like we have done that. So as for an estimate, 50K is a ridiculously long time. I'm assuming it's gonna be somewhere between a 70 and 74 for the required effort to maintain long-term. We are beginning that first climb and I want to have that 73 at least for parts and then as we kind of get over and settle and get speed back up there you go back off a little bit and then uh, as we begin to climb again kind of get out of that saddle and make that push uh, we'll probably up that effort so I, i'm gonna hover between about a 71 73 here early on and you can see we are at a bit of a deficit but the the bit of a deficit is expected it's the major deficit that you just can't handle. And you see how quickly we are gaining on Bernal at this point. So we are pushing a lot harder than he is. And I, I think that 73 might be out. I think we're kind of into that 71, 72 range. But this, you know, this first time check, this is all uphill through here. I mean, up, up until well after that first time check, you finally crest out about here, flatten out, and then descend for a little bit, recover flat, another climb, and then a more gradual descent. But look how much ground we have already made up on Egon Bernal. I just realized I have a plus five race day condition. Holy cow, we have an 85 time trial today. Eye popping. We just passed Bernal. Resistance 87. Stamina 81. <laughs> the climbing for that part 87. means we're maintaining an insane pace and yes we do have a deficit here but it's not a major deficit i think the two descents are going to allow us to make up a lot of ground and look at who we're gaining on next so we've already passed the fourth place guy henley who sits in fifth place and He's just claimed his really first grand tour we are in the lead so at the first time check 14 seconds ahead of wow fan art Lechnesund is a minute behind Soren Craig Anderson, Avenipol all right about a minute down. Of course, that was a lengthy climb through there. And as we kind of get into this last little push section right here, we want to up the tempo a little bit again, push hard through here, get going, make up some ground, and then we will ease off once again. Yeah, slowly coming up on Hindley here. Okay, those last two guys should have already come through here, and I don't even see them at all. Do not see them at all. So we are now passing our second rider onto that second time check. Van Art has a huge lead there. Van Art has not reached the finish line. Van Art is still out on course, I'm assuming. Craig Anderson and Leknesund are right there on the same time. Van Art's like a good minute ahead of him. Okay, through that descent, through that recovery zone, and we are right about neutral. Right about neutral. So we've pulled that off in terms of not overdoing it, setting ourselves up nicely. That's going to be Van Art. Van Art is probably going to the top of the time charts. We'll double check that here in a second. But I do think we can get back into pushing about a 72. 
It looks like we do have a little bit to spare. And yes, it is. Van Art. he lost about 10 seconds in that final sector. 10 seconds in that final sector. So uh, that does back him off a little bit. But that is one hour and 15 seconds. I think we're going to top an hour. I do. I think we are going to top an hour. We've We've passed two riders out here, and we are flying, and we were so far ahead at that first time check. Well, 14 seconds. We'll see how we're at at time check number two. Uh, into that next climb, this is the time to push again. We're going to push 74 for a little bit. We can really make up some ground through this because this is a much steeper climb, especially over Van Art. We've got that 87. This is a, a great time to make up some, some ground. And, you know, we barely have a deficit right now, and with that descent lengthy descent i think we're going to make up some ground i really do so we push on a little bit harder up to that 75 there you go that's what i was talking about we we did have room to push we are now second place but we are in great shape towards the end remember van art lost ground at the end he lost ground i think we can keep on pushing and make up ground in fact i think we can keep up this 75 as we are descending here but maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I think we're pushing maybe a little too hard. Oh, you can't see my energy. Uh, we were level before the climb, but we pushed pretty hard through that climb. We are about half of what's left. I'm down to a 72 on the effort. Last little descent that helps recover some zone. We are not quite level, though. Not quite level with 5K to go. Pushing a 72. Pushing a 72. So that last sector, how are we looking? Looking really good, like well over a minute ahead of everybody except for maybe Van Art. And our energy is very low with one and a half K to go. The yellow bar is almost out, almost out. We're going to dip into that red bar here very soon. And we're starting to hit the red bar as we approach the finish line. As we, oh, it's a little descent right at the finish line. Not a stage win. Van Art is going to take it. That second sector, we lost a little bit of time. But in terms of what I could have gained there at the finish line as we had that tiny bit of red bar left, is probably three seconds worth. It, it certainly wasn't going to be 20 seconds. So at best, I could have improved about three seconds. Balancing that out a little bit more over the course of uh, that flat sector is where Van Art really made up some time. That That's his strong suit makes sense but hey we're we're in second place it's okay that we don't have the stage but what we do have is we have massive massive gains on the overall race leaders that's right Monguzi. i forgot about Monguzi. Monguzi, Monguzi just lost four minutes <laughs> Monguzi just lost four minutes wow uh where is that gonna put us because i did not see where the other top contenders were i forgot about Monguzi into the race lead Monguzi is a minute behind Almeida is two behind Vlasov Soler all two two and a half that art is six three minutes down Bernal is 419 behind holy crap folks we got a chance in this race yeah most of these guys are five or six minutes down a couple at four but two to three minutes for all the contenders and, you know, Mongoosey's not a major threat. He's got an 81 mountain, but he's not a major threat otherwise. He lost a ton of time. We were two and a half minutes down. We beat him by nearly four minutes. <laughs> wow. What a turnaround. What a huge time trial that was. And, and well, Van Hart, what a time he was able to put in. I mean, we, we couldn't even match that with that plus five. I was so lucky with that plus five, though. Uh, plus one was more expected, and that still would have put us in this range. I mean, you know, even with just the plus one, we, we would have been top ten on the stage. We timed things well. We, we managed it well. I pushed harder because of the plus five and made up additional time, 30, 40 seconds worth. And like I said, we only had maybe three, four, or five seconds more that we could have squeezed out is all. Van Art's winning that thing regardless as we were right down to the limit on the, the energy at the finish. If I had caught on that the, the little descent was there, we could have you know gotten that five seconds, pushed it before that little descent. But otherwise, yeah, great run. Wow, okay, end of the lead, yellow jersey.
Now we have to defend. Here's what we have for the rest of this tour. 15. Two monstrous climbs. 16. Many climbs. 17. Three difficult mountain stages to come. 20. Another 50 kilometer time trial? <laughs> Thank you. No excuse if we don't win this race. First of three mountain stages in a row, stage 15 overall, and we are now in defend mode, which means all of those domestiques, instead of protecting our climbers, have been working to keep the, the breakaway manageable the because the 14 the riders, there's about four the of line. them that sit between uh, like 12th and 16th or 17th in the, in the standings and are only five and a half to eight minutes behind. So they're not that far off. And there's some real risk that uh, we could lose the lead of this race to a breakaway rider. So we're, we have to be involved and we have been involved. But now that we're hitting the climbs, the other teams that want to put pressure on me are now getting involved in that. But Powers and Jones just got dropped. I don't know why uh, Delai fell back that fast, but we today. were trying to conserve energy with him, and I did not see that he was going slowly like that. Uh, but Garrison's not finished the water task, which is worrying because uh, he got to everybody but me. Why don't we do something about that here on these early slopes? Let's drop backward. Got a plus three today, and even I'm already feeling this thing big time. Foss hanging in there at the back end of the group, but he is nearly out of energy with 3k to go, so he's not going to make it. I'm going to be so low here quite soon, and now I am. Foss back on for a moment. Watch out, a team leader is falling behind. Last 700 meters. Let's put pressure on this group. Eliminate these guys a little bit. They're over the top and heading down the other side at a fair lick. They'll be able to get some strength back. Now it's time to get myself some water. Just ten riders here in the peloton. And we're at five and a half minutes on that break. Not the easiest catch, and I definitely can't do the chasing, but let's hope these guys want to keep pressure on somebody like myself. I'm not going to fully recover here at all, but I'm going to get a fair amount, and you know that they're not going to get any more than I am. And we're inside five minutes chasing those guys. Huge gap. There's still riders that haven't even finished that climb yet, and we are in the valley below. And that was a very long descent. Final climb on this one. 16k, 8% average gradient. And this huge push is going to put a ton of fatigue into these legs. And meanwhile, with Foss protecting me, it's hurting me a lot less than it's hurting these other guys. So you would think. There should be a decent fight all the way to the top and the finishing line. The we'll see close. when we hit the, the base of the, the climb where everybody's at. And he moves on to the okay, attack. we'll go normal speed decision. for this one. This climb features some Except for, it looks like Volter, yeah, Volter's got nothing left. Adria's got nothing left. Foss has nothing left. Almeida does. So does Martinez, Van Aert, Bernal. Monguzi's hanging in there. Yates, Lucas Hamilton, McNulty, Hershey. But only a few riders look. Henley's looking fantastic right now. He's got a plus three. Kustinov has a plus five. Are we actually following it? It doesn't Attack look like I'm David really Van following Ball. it. It says I'm following it, but it certainly doesn't look like anything's actually happening here. But we are closing it back down. I get to ride defensively for this. I do not have to lead anything. There's nothing I have to worry about chasing down. Though Martinez is still ahead of us. 
But with a six minute gap, I'm not worried about him gaining a little bit of time. Attack by Champoussin. Kustinov, another one that I'm not worried about. Let others do the chasing. Going inside 10k. Going inside 10k. Down to 17 in the peloton. And we're coming back at these guys ahead of us here. For me, this climb is not bad right now. 9k. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. 8k. And now the numbers are declining. A team leader is Down to 14. Not pushing too hard right now. 7k. Adam Yates is 15th. Not a threat. Adam Yates goes into the attack. Five kilometers remaining. 6K. Okay, let's take a look around at the group. Fabro's got nothing. Bernal. Looking better than me, but he's only ninth. Manguzi. He's hurting worse than I am. Gegenhardt's not a threat. Vlasov is nearly done and sits fourth. Almeida, looking very similar to me. McNulty, Hershey, Solaire, all almost done. Henley still looks good. His race day condition bonus clearly putting him in the 80s. The difficulty bonus, he's probably got a resistance of close to 90. Uh, Matawe is nearly done. Van Aert is nearly done. So we really only have about Henley... Bernal, one or two guys that can really keep up with us if we were to attack. I'm going to gel up and make a move here soon. Especially with that group that's riding away. They are opening up a pretty big gap and things are going to ease off for the final 5k. Be nice if we could use that attack, but it's too late for that. We're up to 15. Let's go. And we're clear. And we're clear. Okay. Uh, we can only go so hard. I'm okay if a couple guys catch me. It's about leaving most of the group behind. The two that are behind me. Manguzi. Manguzi is one of them. Two K to go. One point seven. And it's a solo Sorry, one point nine. Champasson has won the stage. Anarion, I've been joined by Hindley. Hindley's no surprise that he has gotten this far. He will not work with me. One K to go. Let him attack. That he's fine. Six hundred meters. There's Yates and Martinez. And now we sprinted out for the line. We're going to catch back up to Henley, it looks like. Across the, the line right behind him. We've gained an advantage over the chasers. There's Bernal. Well behind. 30 seconds anyway. 20, 30. Almeida, Gegenhart, Manguzi. These guys all losing time on us. That was a good stage. In terms of managing the break, this is probably the hardest stage. With five climbs along the way. Early, often... Peloton's all split up already. It's down to just 71 riders. 58, actually, at the moment. And yet, it's been all me. All the effort. I've had to do all of it. We've had no support. And we had the break at three and a half minutes halfway up this last climb. But Dombrowski ran out of energy. No other team came forward. And Dombrowski had to continue leading us over because Goosens was out of energy as well. And I wasn't willing to waste Foss yet. So that's allowed the breakaway to get out an eight minute advantage as of right now, which means the breakaway could potentially be in the lead. Champison, who won the last stage, is third in the tour now. But otherwise, I did open a pretty significant gap on everybody else. Dabrowski doing just enough to start pulling these guys back. Goosens is going to have to do something too. Uh, I need a little bit of protection before we begin climbing, or at least while we're climbing here. 
uh, yeah, we're having a rough go, but if the other teams step up, it'll help us pull things back. And at the moment, yes, that is exactly what's happening. It's already down to just six minutes. But Dombrowski's done. He's going backwards. Goosens oh is going to be done I here. Right and Foss, he's got to protect me on, on this climb. The lead is being cut. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Two climbs to go. I do have that plus three today. Should be enough, but I, I'm definitely without the team support with a lot of climbing left to do. So we'll see how things actually go. Foss is fading, so my energy is dropping a lot faster now. 37 left in the peloton, and we're starting to pull back those breakaway riders. Three and a half minutes to whoever's left at the front. Quick step, getting involved. And 2K to go to the top, and my energy is quite low, and somebody just attacked. Attack Vlasov. Vlasov. Vlasov, who is now outside of the top three, right? He's down to fifth. I will make it to the top. There's just seven of us. This climb is plus Vlasov. The percentages are very high. This downhill will okay, allow into the, the recovery. To recover from their earlier efforts. Hand up. Get that water. Good to go for the rest of this stage now. And recovery is ongoing. I'm gonna enjoy that descent on the uh, second climb here. Final climb. Nine in the Peloton. Vlasov, we've caught up to him. We've got Almeida, we've got Karthi, and we see two There's guys attacking. Away. That's Almeida and Vlasov. But right now, I behind. want to recover in the group as much as possible. They are going to force me to do the work, though. It's going to open that gap really quickly, but during this descent, you know, it's, it's one minute. It is one minute. Uh, I feel like I might have to attack these guys. here early on otherwise they're gonna really yeah they got away fast that was two minutes already that that last kilometer at the bottom just opened things wide up everybody's attacking me so we need to surprise and attack and force them to chase and then just do our thing 9k that allows us to He's escape the team sponsor won't be disappointed. going on a little bit further and yeah 79 sounds good 25 second advantage 7k. I have to go about a 77 for that. Coming up on McNulty. 11k. Oh, the group just caught back up to me. But they're going to follow me, which is really annoying. We've got 15 kilometers to the finish line. Okay, Dina's working. Dina's attacking. It's in such percentages Others are attacking. Let's attack again. Things are hotting up at the front. He's off. Oh, we've almost caught those guys. Wait, Hindley's there too? He must be in the breakaway today. Catch the group. There you go. There's your front seven. One rider left off the front. That is Paulus. Nobody's going to work. I'm the leader. Nobody's going to work. Honorian. Doesn't have much energy. He's 17th. He is not a threat. k to go to the top i cannot push very hard here it's already up to 17 riders though and none of them willing to work so manguzi attacks and they keep on attacking 900 meters gas definitely won't be able to keep up the riders are i'm dropping the riders again here of the stage. watch out a team leader is falling behind okay descent Go arrow. That'll allow me to get some recovery here as we descend. The riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage. And let's go as we get towards the bottom here. And, he away and we split group. off He's everybody but Vlasov as we come up towards the finish now. 3.8k. We're catching up to Arian. Ooh, here's the danger zone. Danger zone. Okay, we've brought it together. And the acrobatic Again, descent the ends. 2K to go. To break apart. 
1.6. Over that last top. Now we attack. Just come in together. Palace takes the stage. And we should be same time this group. Onrion, Kustanov, Almeida. At worst, it's a few seconds. Vlasov. I guess sixth on the stage. Manguzi, Martinez, Ruiz. And then big gaps behind. So the whole group gets same time. Palace gains a minute and 19. I don't know where he was in the standings. We'll find out in a moment. Powers makes the time cut off by a couple of minutes. Jones misses it by about 10 minutes. They were the last two riders on the road. De uh, Delay did not make it in uh, much sooner than they did. Okay, Palace is not a threat. He's only 16th. Manguzi is still second, a minute and a half. Almeida, 244. Vlasov, 310. Martinez, Van Aert, Bernal, Kustinov, Soler, Henley. There's your top 10. Bernal and some others lost time. Gegenhart lost some time on that stage. Uh, Champesson, who was third, is back down to 12th outside of the top 10. Last mountain stage. Last opportunity for them to really catch up because with the 50K time trial, even with a poor race day condition, it's going to be really hard for them to gain time on me. The contenders are, are definitely not as good at time trialists. So as long as we can get through this climb and the category one that follows it soon after, then we should be fine by that final climb. Even if we lose a little bit of time there, we'll be okay. Uh, the breakaway was larger. Breakaway had a bigger advantage, but we have brought in most of it just now. And the rest aren't that far away. Three and a half minute gap. Uh, they they definitely split up there, and we've seen the field thin. Three riders out the back. One rider not present as he was eliminated on time. Goosens and Nebrowski barely hanging on right now as we go to reach the top. And then Foss, the only one looking good. They'll get a little recovery in, though, and hopefully are going to be able to contribute later on. Water taken care of for now, 120k still to go in this stage. It's a very long stage with a lot of pretty big climbs, but the biggest, well, one of the two big climbs of the day is complete. Nine riders left off the front. Overall, we're talking about a three minute advantage. Luckily, I'm not having to do the work anymore today. I did for the first 60k or so, but Dukenik stepped up as soon as we started climbing and then Ineos from there. We'll have to keep an eye on those gaps, though, and make sure that uh, nothing crazy happens. But the Some effort is suddenly high, and these guys are struggling at the back end. Goosens, in particular, is about to get dropped. I'm hanging on nicely, protecting myself, saving some energy. And there's the last six riders of the break. They've nearly been reeled in. You don't want to bring them in this soon, but that's okay. Down to 48, and down to just Foss. 35. Foss is struggling. I'm struggling actually a little bit here, but I'm actually recovering as they can't push as hard anymore, which is allowing Foss to stay put. Also allowed that breakaway to get back out to a bit of a gap, which is good for that overall. I think that's the main reason why they sat up, which is absolutely no complaints from me on that one. Uh, we do need water, but not yet. Foss, go ahead and go into protect mode. before the climb. Maybe after this little notch in the road we will uh, send Foss to go get water. 55k to go, but a lot of that is climbing. Okay, heading into that penultimate climb. It's a minute and a half to those front riders. and There is a top 10 rider in that group and he's still there. Hindley is about 7 minutes down in 10th and now all 5 of them are, are good. All five of them are, are solid, solid climbers. So uh, Foss is gone, just me. 40 riders left, one rider now off the front. Is Vlasov. He's got a minute, and we're down to seven riders. 18 riders, nobody wants to contribute. 22 riders. Now it's no longer considered a a small echelon, so at 36, we've got some guys to do the work to chase. Vlasov. Vlasov, 310 down overall. 
and has a two minute advantage, but going solo into this final climb, it's gonna be really difficult for him. We're talking about 16 kilometer, the Abysk. Um, we're gonna see a lot of riders, well, better on the flat, not feeling it as much as I am through here. I'm feeling it a lot as we enter this final climb. 112 the advantage for Vlasov. Vlasov, meanwhile, uh, is a 74 time trial, and he stage. is definitely less energy than what I have right now. Watching high. that gap, he's pushing it out a little bit, but his energy is low. Van Art, Anrian, Gegenhart. Only a few riders are capable of following the very fast pace up front. Okay, Van Art, Gegenhart, and I, Anrian, and they're willing to contribute. Thirty-one second advantage. Now they don't want to contribute. And it's back together with the Peloton. And now Manguzi attacks. 10k to go. Kristinov, Palace attacking. Just setting a steady tempo. Six K to go. Gelling up. 5k to go. Just trying to manage the gap. It's a minute 51 to the front. 3.5k to go. Down to 8 riders. Those guys just could not keep up Watch with the pace that I was setting. Line. And you can see we are definitely coming back at some of these guys down to a minute and a half. 2k to go. Down to 3. I've dropped everybody around me. Four guys up ahead though, working together, which is a bit of a problem. There is okay, just Manguzi and I now, and he's pushing on seven. Oh, seven hundred meters. That's just fantastic. He really was. The Lasov takes the stage the ahead of Bernal Kusinov, Anrian. They gained a little bit of time there today. Manguzi and I come in fifth and sixth. Juan Pedro Lopez, Nielsen Palace, Godu. I lost a little bit of time today, but that's because I was literally on my own for that climb that was everybody trying to attack me nobody responding to anybody else so i was completely on my own for that climb no teammate for support uh for a long time foss was gone early on the penultimate climb so we were alone for a very long time and that could have been some really really huge time losses and it won't be uh Adrian, Bernal weren't in contenders positions. Kustinov, I think, was about 6th or 7th. So Vlasov, the only one who's going to gain a bit, he was 4th. So I do lose a minute 25. Manguzi was like a half bike length ahead of me, but, well, maybe more than that. Maybe it was 2 or 3. He did attack right at the end. Uh, he was 14 seconds ahead. But I still hold the lead. Manguzi is second at a minute 20. Vlasov third, minute 35. Bernal all the way up to fourth place. Kustinov up to fifth. Just four seconds separating them. They are way too far back. Podium is set at this point. I'd say your top three is your top three because that time trial, we're not going to see a five-minute swing. That time trial, 50K, sure, you could see a minute and a half swing. So that's your final two contenders, but we're in the driver's seat. Manguzi, terrible time trialist. Vlasov, he's okay, 74, but I'm the clear favorite, clear favorite to keep the win. Bernal, Kustinov, Kustinov with that 80, could he catch a Manguzi? He might be able to catch a Manguzi to get to uh, third. Onrian, Almeida, Martinez, Soler, Gegenhart at your top 10 right now. And we are absolutely the favorite with one competitive stage remaining. And it's 
to our advantage being a time trial. We will open up next episode with that time trial and our final results of the Tour de France, and then we will be quick simming all the way probably to the World Championships for the other race, and otherwise we will be quick simming the remainder of this season and the end of our career mode, pro cyclist mode here in Pro Cycling Manager 2021. PCM 22 is coming out next week. Next week, right around the corner. One more episode left of this one. I'm a Catholic Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.